This is how to draw alcades. Step one is to draw a chain with the correct number of carbons. Step two is to add hydrogens around the carbons to make each carbon have four bonds. And lastly, make sure that the lines are drawn in and that each layer has the correct number of bonds. Each hydrogen has one bond and each carbon has four bonds. And when you draw it, it would look like this. Let's do this with an example. Let's say that I ask you to draw the structure of propane. To do this, we need to know what propane is. I made a blog post on the names and formulas of alkanes. I'll put the link in the description. By that, we know the first part of propane means three. So propane has three carbons. And by that, we also know that the formula is C3H6. Sometimes they give this to you, but other times you need to figure it out yourself. So C3H6. We draw a chain of three carbons. And with chain, I mean you actually link them together. Then we draw hydrogens all around. So we surround the carbons by hydrogens. And we also link them to the carbons. Now let's count the number of bonds. Hydrogen, this one has one bond, one bond, one bond, one bond, one bond. And each carbon, let's count those. This one has one, two, three, four. This one has one, two, three, four. And this one has one, two, three, four. So we know it's correct. And this is propane. It's the same for all the other alkanes. You draw the number of carbons surrounded by hydrogens, link it all together, and then you have your alkane. You can download a summary table with another link in the description that has the name, the molecular formula, the condensed formula, and the displayed formula of alkanes to help you learn this better. When you follow these steps, it's quite simple. But what's a bit trickier is alkenes. That tutorial is coming out next week. But if you're from the future, you can click here to learn that next.